By now, you've probably seen IT Chapter 2 on the big screen, but are you left wondering what went down behind the scenes? Even the casting process of this movie was difficult, and there were some strict rules in place for all the stars that they had to follow. We'll talk about the child actors and how their experiences differed from those of the adults. You'll find out why a framed photo of Finn Wolfhard caused so much trouble, and which stars didn't escape from filming unharmed. Finding talented actors who just happened to look like adult versions of the kids in the Losers Club was just one huge challenge facing the production of IT Chapter 2. Another was having to deal with how much the kids from the first movie had grown since filming started on the second. Just take a look at Finn Wolfhard from Season 3 of Stranger Things compared to IT Chapter 1 and you'll see what we mean. This meant the kids couldn't just show up on set and be ready to work. They had to take part in a complex de-aging process in order to make them look more like they did in the first movie. Sure ancient monsters in the form of clowns are terrifying, but we all know the real enemy here is the slow, unceasing march of time. Sorry, we didn't mean to scare you. Anyways, the cast was required to undergo scans of their bodies so their likenesses could be uploaded to a computer and edited. Some stars, like Finn Wolfhard, needed a lot of editing, while others, like Sophia Lillis, only needed just a little bit. Since the cast's voices had also changed, they had to record their dialogue in advance using high-pitched voices than they would normally. Yeah, even their voices were altered for it chapter two. Jack Dylan Grazer's voice had changed so much that they almost went the extra mile and hired somebody else to dub his lines. There are a lot of perks to appearing in a movie, but there are definitely some drawbacks too. Not only did the cast of It Chapter 2 have to come face to face with Pennywise, but some of their most unpleasant on-set moments were less scary and more disgusting. Just ask poor Jessica Chastain, who had to deal with being doused in 4,500 gallons of sticky fake blood. There was an entire kiddies pool worth on set for her to cover herself in, and the actress claims it was freezing. Also, having to wash it off after each take got really old, really fast. In fact, being willing to get cold was pretty much a requirement for being a part of IT Chapter 2. Yeah, the adult cast members really had to stand in a pool of water at one point. And yes, it was freezing cold. Bill Hader says he was trying to make himself cry by drudging up sad memories, but the only thing that worked was focusing on how sad and miserable he felt. Apparently, cold is a solid motivator. Who knew? Do you remember the first time that you met Pennywise the Dancing Clown? Maybe you read the book, watched the 1990s miniseries, or maybe your first encounter was during IT Chapter 1. But let's just say the kids from the first movie will never forget the first time they came face to face with Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise. They were kept apart from Skarsgård during filming until it was time for the characters to meet the clown. This was supposed to make their reactions more genuine and realistic. But what about the adult actors? Well, apparently they weren't subjected to the same process, but that doesn't mean they were less creeped out. Jessica Chastain says that she was frightened of Skarsgård's portrayal from the very first time they did a table read together. Of course, it probably didn't help that in the middle of a scene, Skarsgård suddenly got in her face and yelled, Boo. And of course, we all know how Bill Hader felt about being behind the scenes with Pennywise. According to Hader, it was Skarsgård's ability to manipulate his eyes that freaked him out the most. Yeah, it turns out that's not some kind of post-production effect. Bill Skarsgård is just that talented. Pennywise is supposed to be scary, but there's another unsettling aspect of it, Chapter 2, you might not have considered. There was a great deal of special attention paid to higher actors who looked like the grown-up versions of the child stars from the first movie. Meeting a bigger or smaller version of yourself had to be pretty strange. But apparently, the adult and child actors almost never interacted with one another outside of a table read. For inspiration for their characters, the adult cast mostly watched It Chapter 1 and read the book. Still, the studio did try to forge some kind of connection between the adults and the kids, but did so in a way that really creeped Bill Hader out. They had the child stars write letters to their adult counterparts. These letters were from their character's perspective and were supposed to help them get into character. But the studio also gave framed photos of the children to the actors, which Bill Hader found kind of unsettling. For some reason, he thought it would be odd for a grown man to keep a framed photo of a child he doesn't know and isn't related to. Can't really blame him there. IT Chapter 2 director Andy Muschietti definitely had a strong vision in mind when it came to creating this movie. While that's a good thing, his attention to detail and need for perfection was often hard on the actors. James McAvoy claimed Muschietti would have them run through the same scene so many times he started to experience significant pain. It probably didn't help that McAvoy also insisted on doing most of his own stunts, but he wound up tearing his quads and suffering from a lingering six months of tendonitis. Isaiah Mustafa also sustained an injury thanks to repeating the same action so many 
many times. When the adult losers gather at their favorite Chinese restaurant, things get out of hand and Mike Hanlon hits a chair against a table. Apparently Mustafa smashed a lot of chairs to get it right and says it's not as much fun as it looks, but he may be a little biased since he actually broke a small bone in his hand, causing the area near his thumb to go numb for the rest of filming. But we can't blame all onset injuries on Muschietti's pursuit of perfection. Bill Hader injured a very sensitive area during a scene in which he ran a few feet to get away from Pennywise, and Jessica Chastain smacked her head after standing up too fast in the sewer. Of course, when you're an actor, you need to be able to remember your lines, but let's not forget about the importance of being able to improvise. That's something which was expected of the cast members of IT Chapter 2, and one of them even helped create a scene which wasn't based on the book. If you haven't seen the movie yet and don't want to know what's behind one of the scary doors, you might want to skip this entry. Because when Richie and Eddie encounter a Pomeranian whose bark is definitely not bigger than his bite, their reactions were improvised and not included in the script. James McAvoy was instrumental in helping make a scene involving a journey of his character Bill and the guilt he felt over his role in losing his brother Georgie. Yeah, we're talking about the scene we all saw in the trailer in which Bill runs through a hall of mirrors chasing after a young boy. That scene is not in the book, but rather a collaboration between James McAvoy and Andy Muschietti. It Chapter 2 is a seriously scary movie with some somber themes, but that doesn't mean the cast didn't have any fun while on set. According to Bill Skarsgård, there's a lot of dull downtime while filming a movie, and the cast takes it upon themselves to entertain each other. When a member of the special effects crew brought their kid to set, Skarsgård took great pleasure in surprising them. And by surprising, we obviously mean terrifying. Earlier we mentioned that Bill Hader was less than impressed with the framed photo he received of Finn Wolfhard. In fact, he didn't even want to accept it. So his co-star Jessica Chastain Stain suggested sneaking into his trailer and placing the photo on his pillow, something that Hater says is probably the most awkward place for it. James Ransone said that the worst part of filming the movie was a particular scene in which the leper throws up on him. Not only is that just plain gross, but the fluid made it very hard for him to breathe and he very nearly lost consciousness. But at last his co-stars got some good laughs out of it. Andy Muschietti passed around a recording of Ransone filming the scene and Bill Hader claims watching it is one of his favorite on-set memories. CGI is capable of generating absolutely incredible effects, but there are those of us who still prefer the visceral reality of practical effects. Andy Muschietti has always said he prefers to use practical effects over CGI whenever possible. He believes this ends up with a more realistic, terrifying product, but it's also something which can be difficult for his stars to deal with. The final confrontation with Pennywise takes place in a soundstage water tank 75 feet wide and filled with 180,000 gallons of water. Reading a script is one thing, but having to slosh through a foot and a half of water is definitely another. In the first movie, there's a scene in which Pennywise emerges from an old fridge. Bill Skarsgård was actually stuffed in there and wires were used to pull his limbs free. A little CGI was added in post, but most of this is just practical effects. Not only can this be difficult, but it's downright messy most of the time. Bill Hader claims the actors were frequently covered in dirt, sweat, and fake blood while on set. Perhaps the strictest rule the adult stars of IT Chapter 2 had to follow was completely out of their control. They had to look like the child stars who played their characters in the first movie. Andy Muschietti had worked with Jessica Chastain on the movie Mama and had her in mind for Beverly Marsh before the first IT movie wrapped. In fact, he originally wanted to include a bonus scene revealing Chastain as a grown-up Beverly. James McAvoy was also a no-brainer to play a grown-up Bill Denborough, but the rest of the casting was just a bit more challenging. Finn Wolfhard was actually the one who said he would love his adult counterpart being Bill Hader. And to think, even after that, Hader still didn't want to keep his photo. Jay Ryan actually had to submit childhood photos to see if he looked enough like Jeremy Ray Taylor. James Ransone actually auditioned for the first movie and tried again for the second after his brother pointed out that he looked a lot like Jack Dylan Grazier as a child. Isaiah Mustafa almost missed out on being Mike Hanlon since a final audition interfered with his wedding plans. Thankfully, his fiance was pretty understanding. While most of the kids were excited to see their adult counterparts, Wyatt Olaf told Andy Bean he had been hoping for Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Okay, so this rule isn't specific to IT Chapter 2, but it's still a rule the vast majority of studios implement, and that's don't take their props home. Studios invest a ton of money in their movies, and they don't want actors bringing home whatever set pieces catch their fancy. But this is probably the rule which gets broken the most often. According to the cast of IT Chapter 2, the adult cast members didn't bring home any mementos to remind them of their time filming. But the kids? 
Now that's a different story. Sophia Lillis confessed to taking home Beverly's shoes from the first movie, and Jack Dylan Grazier nabbed Eddie's inhaler. Jaden Martell brought home Bill's bike, and Jeremy Ray Taylor grabbed the prosthetic H from when Henry Bowers attacks his character. And then of course we have Bill Skarsgård, who just had to be creepy until the very last moment. When filming wrapped up, he took out his false teeth and handed them to director Andy Muschietti, who took them home and still has them to this day, for some reason. What do you think about the movie It Chapter 2? Do you think it paled in comparison to the first movie? Or was it a decent adaptation of Stephen King's book? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And while you're down there, why not hitting that subscribe button so you can get more awesome videos in your feed just like this each and every day. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.